We understand the concept of change, yet for some, they can never fully grasp it once it occurs. We understand how inevitable change must be, yet for some, they still attempt to hold on to the remnants of past sensations. Nostalgia can become volatile when attempting to reauthenticate the authenticated. I understand the importance of referencing previous works to influence your present dilemmas to further enhance preceding works, yet you shouldn't, and I don't believe that you can accurately reauthenticate a generational significance within your present generation. For example, it was once rumored, as it could have been confirmed, that Issa Rae wanted to recreate Set It Off. I understand paying tributes of homage, I understand drawing inspiration from various influences, yet as mentioned in my body language commentary, when do we say no more? As these works of alleged art begin to resemble works of parody, when do we say no more? Even as reboots begin to resurface, or surface rather, when do we say enough is enough, the era is complete, let's continue? For Initially, it was discussed that That's So Raven should be brought back to television. The franchise was deemed by audiences as an urban classic deserving of a spin-off, quite comparable to Boy Meets World as seen with a Girl Meets World. And as seen with the Raven House adaptation, although it was fixed for this generation, it is nothing like its origins. The genuine sentiment of its significance cannot be reproduced within the newness of this current millennium. Although nothing is new underneath the sun and upon this earth, it becomes almost deceptive to believe that you can recreate or rather renew past sensations. Take for example, Kamorley Simmons. Baby Fat was founded in 1999 and relaunched in 2020. Although this launch was successful, it wasn't of the same propensity as in previous years. To recreate a nostalgic experience, you must consider that it may not translate in its current transcendence as anticipated given previous years. As immense tragedies can result in everlasting trauma, I think it's important to note that great successes can influence the mind just as profoundly, if not equally. When we bear witness to the successes of healthy relationships or healthy financial situations, we can only aspire to duplicate this experience within our own intimate or personal endeavors.